is up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to today's video if you saw our last video we just bought a new fish tank and it's huge not that one that one's our 55 we just bought a 125 gallon that's going to replace it so that one's our new one and that one's going to be the one that we're going to get rid of so we started at 55 gallon the fish are getting pretty big and we talked about that when we first bought the fish tank was that either a we were going to get rid of the bigger fish like the oscar um, when I got too big and give it to somebody with a bigger tank or get a bigger tank. And I didn't know what we were going to do. And we found a spot. My wife and I compromised on a spot for a tank. Well, it wasn't much of a compromise. I just begged and annoyed her until eventually she said, yes. Yeah. So that's that. Um, so if you remember from our previous videos, this tank has the black diamond blasting sand. It's kind of hard with the reflection, but you can see it's a black substrate. So we bought this at Tractor Supply. I believe it's for sandblasting. Um, so anyway, we washed it, cleaned it all up and it's, you know, it looks really nice. It's a black substrate on the bottom. And I, and I loved it. We've had zero problems with it. Um, I would highly recommend it. I think it, I had to buy maybe two bags. I, I'll link a video down in the description that I did when I put it in there. I think it was maybe two bags and maybe it was like $10 a bag. So I said with the new tank, let's switch it up and do something different. So the new tank is going, oh, and by the way, can you look at the back? Look at all the backlighting. We did this on a lot of things. See behind that blue mirror? All the blue LED shining behind it. Almost all of our furniture now has LED lights behind it, um, hooked up with our like smart devices in the house. So we can just say like lights on, lights off, pick colors and everything at night glows behind all the furniture, which is really cool. Anyway, let's stay focused. Um, we're gonna switch it up, change the color a little bit on the new fish tank. I'm gonna show you what I started today and show you how we actually go about washing the sand. This isn't gonna be a sand versus black sand video because I haven't actually used this yet. Um, it's gonna be the first time. So it's gonna take me a couple months to kind of really get an idea as to whether I like this over the black sand for looks or for um, functionality. Is it cleaner? Does it like hide dirt better? So anyway, this isn't just play sand. I got it at Home Depot, it's pool filter sand. So if you have an in-ground pool, the filters that you use to run your, your filter and stuff, they come in different types of filters if you're not familiar with a pool. One is a filter can run off of sand and then sand cleans the water. So this is pool filter sand. Um, I believe it's a little bit whiter. It's a little bit lighter in density and the granules are a little bit bigger than play sand. Play sand is just very compact, tiny, tiny granules. So it's just very thick um, sand. So everybody seems to recommend this. Again, I've never used it. I'm just going off of all my YouTube research. I have a degree from the University of YouTube and uh, so that's what we're doing. But first you gotta clean it. And again, you'll see videos. Some people say clean it, some people say don't. But I just started cleaning this. And after I started cleaning this, clean your sand. So again, this is 125 gallons. I bought 150 pounds of sand. They come in 50 pound bags at Home Depot for $10 a bag. So that's $30 so far in sand, I'm not done. This is two bags. So this is 100 pounds of sand. And you can see that it took about 50 pounds to do here. 50 pounds to do here, and the last one, 50 pounds to do here. That should be enough. I mean, you can see about on average how thick this sand is gonna be. It's higher than that black lip on the tank itself. So I believe it's gonna be high enough. I mean, maybe if you wanted to do four or five bags might be better on 125, but currently three bags is probably sufficient, $30. If you were to go to the, like a Petco PetSmart and buy sand or buy gravel or anything, this setup would cost you so much money. It sells for like $20 for a little tiny bag of gravel. You would go through hundreds of dollars to put gravel in here. So, so now let me show you how we actually go ahead and wash the sand and, um, and get it all cleaned up. All right, so this is the pool filter sand that we bought at Home Depot by Quickcrete. That's like 10 or $11 a bag. Uh, and again, I, th I think it's 50 pounds. Yeah, 50 pound bag. So all we're gonna do is I you know, cut the corner off the bag and I dump about half of this into a five gallon bucket. So 25 pounds into here, shove the hose into the sand and just run it. You'll see the water is gonna fill up and be disgusting. It's gonna be like brown, nasty looking water. And you're gonna see some things floating in the water, some debris that was in here. You're gonna keep taking your bucket and dumping the water out and then stick, you know, keep the hose in there, fill it back up, 
dump it out. You can just let the hose run, but I kind of stick my hand in there and start churning up the sand, get all the fine, you know, the fine dust and stuff out of there. So we'll cut this thing open, get half of it in this five gallon bucket. All right, so there you go, half of the bag into here. Take your hose, shove it in there. Turn your hose on. Now wait, you see the, you see the color of this. I mean, you can't see the sand, it's just completely brown. This is what blows my mind, the people that say they don't wash the sand. They're like, it's good enough, just dump it in the fish tank. I mean, again, you can't even see, look at the hose, you can't see any of the hose. And also, it always gives you this little, like, oil slick. You see that stuff floating around? And then you start to let it spill over. And then you can help it out a little bit and dump it and get more of that water out. And the same thing, we let it fill back up. And we're gonna do that, keep mixing up the sand. And now what I'll do is I'm gonna do this for about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes until it's actually nice and clean and I'll show you what it's gonna look like at the end. So now let's watch the difference. I've, I've washed it a bunch of times. And now what we're gonna do is stick the hose in here. I'll fill it up the exact same way I did the first time and let's see if you notice a difference. All right, so now as it fills up, you'll be able to see the difference. Look down at the sand, look at the bucket in the back. You can see the logo. You can almost read the logo through the water. You can see the hose all the way down. You can see the sand churning on the bottom. I mean, it's completely night and day difference. So if you hadn't washed it, you would have put that sand in your fish tank and then filled up the tank with water and it would be absolutely disgusting looking for a while until a lot of it settles, but then your filter would be stuck trying to clean that all out. But I mean, the water, you could see all the way down past my thumb. So all I do is, like I said, I keep filling it, dump it out, keep filling it, and just do that for about five minutes, and then go put that in the fish tank. All right, so that's what 150 pounds of sand looks like. We'll just go ahead and even it out, put a bunch of stuff in there, fill it up with water. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video when we start to finalize this tank. Two things that I want you to comment down below. One, do you wash your pool filter sand if you guys use it? And two, what looks better so far? Do you think going with the sand is gonna be a better way to go? Or do you think going with the black sand was the way to go? I like the black originally, I've never used black before. I mean, it's pretty good. You still see like all the poop and stuff on the bottom over there. Um, I think the sand might hide it a little bit better. The black definitely makes it stand out more. So that's it, comment below. Was the black better or the white better? And if you use the white, how do you guys like it? That's it for today's video, guys. I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. See you guys soon. Peace out, everybody.